Well, you must have built sand castles in sea beaches. These sand castles are short lived as they are eventually destroyed by the sea waves. In this video, we can see that a huge sand castle has been continuously hit by sea waves and gradually this castle breaks off and it transforms into a small heap of sand. Similarly, the landforms present on the earth's surface are destroyed and denuded by the natural forces in the similar manner. So let's learn about these processes. Now here we can see that huge chunks of rocks are continuously hit by the wind and they are broken into smaller pieces by the action of natural forces like wind, glaciers and even water like rain. Now eventually these broken pieces of rocks are carried away by running water and are transported elsewhere. Now, in this video, we can see two processes. Firstly, they are broken down into pieces and they are transported elsewhere. So, in the previous video, we saw two processes. Firstly, the huge chunks of rocks were broken down into smaller fragments by the action of natural forces like wind, rain and ice. So, this process which involves breaking down and disintegration of rocks in the same place is known as weathering. Whereas, we saw another process where the broken pieces were carried elsewhere by the action of running water. So, this process wherein the land surface is worn away and the broken pieces are transported elsewhere by natural agents is known as erosion. Another point to be noted is that in case of weathering, the broken pieces of rocks did not change their position. Rather, they were static in their original position and they were broken into smaller fragments at their original position. So, since in case of weathering, the broken pieces do not change their position. So, weathering is known as in situ process. That is, breaking down of rocks takes place in the original place or in the same place. Whereas, in case of erosion, we saw that the broken pieces were transported elsewhere by running water and due to this reason, erosion is known as ex situ process. That is, the broken pieces change their original position. So, erosion is an ex situ process whereas, weathering is an in situ process. So, these are the main point of differences between weathering and erosion. Weathering refers to disintegration of rocks in the same place. That is, weathering is an in situ process wherein the rocks do not change their original position. Rather, they are broken down into smaller fragments in their original position. On the contrary, erosion refers to wearing away of land surface and the broken pieces are eventually transported elsewhere. So, erosion is an ex situ process. Now, the main agents of weathering and erosion are natural forces like wind, ice and running water or waves. In this lesson, we shall discuss how different landforms are formed by these natural agents. See, in this video, we are gradually moving inside a cave. Now, what are caves? Caves are large mysterious holes present in the earth's surface. Now, these caves are usually found beside a sea. So, let us see how these caves are formed. Now, by strolling along a beach, you must have noticed that the sea waves continuously hit the rocks present at the coast. As a result, cracks develop on them. Now, these cracks become wide or large enough in order to form a cave. Now, due to further erosion, the cave transforms into a hollow structure which is known as an arch. Now, due to further erosion, the roof of an arch fall off and a stack or a vertical structure is formed like this in the mid of the ocean which is known as a stack. So, we learnt how different landforms are formed by sea waves. Firstly, 
crack develops these cracks become large enough in order to form a cave now eventually the cave transforms into a hollow structure which has a roof and it is known as an arch now eventually due to attack of sea waves the roof of the arch fall off and it forms a stack so these are the different landforms that are formed by sea waves now over time due to continuous erosion by sea waves the stack also fall off and a vertical structure develops just beside the sea and it is known as a cliff now the eroded sediments are further deposited at the side of the shore and it forms the beach so cliff and beaches are also formed due to action of sea waves so as discussed just now these are the different landforms that are formed due to action of sea waves caves are large holes that are formed due to action of sea waves when the cracks on the rocks become wider and large enough in order to form a cave now further erosion of cave by sea waves gradually leads to the formation of hollow structures with a roof and it is known as an arch now as an arch is further denuded its wall disappears and it transforms into wall like structures and these wall like structures are known as stack now as these wall like structures or stack fall off then we get steep sides of a rock which rises almost vertically just beside a sea and it is known as a cliff now beaches are also another type of landform that are formed due to action of sea waves the beaches are formed due to deposition of debris brought by sea waves so these are the different major landforms that are formed due to action of sea waves and they are caves stack arch cliff and beaches now before proceeding with our lesson let us try to answer this a steep vertical edge of a rock beside a sea is called a cave stack arch or cliff what do you think well the correct option is cliff cliff refers to the vertical edge of a rock beside a sea whereas cave refers to hollow depressions formed on the rock and stack refers to the wall like structures in the mid of a sea whereas arch refers to hollow structures with a roof so the correct option is cliff which is a steep vertical edge of a rock beside a sea another natural agent that transforms the land surface is glaciers glaciers are moving sheets of ice and they act like natural bulldozers these glaciers scrape the land surface when they move over them now sometimes ice seep into the cracks of the rocks and they pluck out fragments of rocks from huge chunks then these eroded sediments are carried down the slope of a valley by the glaciers now with rise in temperature these glaciers melt and they deposit the debris thereby forming glacial plains so in the previous video we saw that when the glaciers move over the valleys they pluck out rock fragments from the valleys and as a result huge depressions are formed on the valleys now sometimes as the glaciers melt they fill up these depressions with water and as a result beautiful lakes are formed in the mountains so lake is a type of landform that is formed by the action of glaciers now i also mentioned that as the temperature rises the glaciers melt and they deposit the debris thereby forming plains so these glacial plains that are formed due to deposition of debris brought down by glaciers are called moraines so moraines is the another name for glacial plains so lakes and moraines are two prominent structures that are formed due to work of glaciers now here we have a picture of an interesting rock well does it look like something yes 
this rock looks like a mushroom and therefore it is also known as mushroom rocks now mushroom rocks are a type of landform that are commonly found in deserts and they are formed due to action of wind well we know that strong winds are quite prevalent in deserts now when these winds blow over the exposed rock they scratch the surface of the rocks and also sometimes they erode the lower part of the rocks more than the upper part as a result such mushroom like structures are formed and they are known as mushroom rocks so mushroom rocks are a type of landform that are formed due to action of wind now again when heavy winds blow over vast stretches of desert they carry fine particles of silt and sand along with them and eventually when the speed of the wind gets obstructed by obstacles like a rock or a bush they deposit the sand particles there now due to continuous deposition of sand particles after few years low hill like structures are formed which are known as sand dunes so sand dunes are a type of landforms that are formed in desert due to the action of winds now let's have a look at this vast yellow stretches of plain they are known as loess and they are found in the northern part of china these loess are formed when fine particles of silt and sand are carried and deposited over a vast region now eventually over the years the deposits of sand and silt thicken in order to form loess thus loess are thick deposits of sand and silt that are formed by wind so as discussed just now these are the different types of landforms that are formed due to the action of wind and these landforms are mushroom rocks sand dunes and loess well all these landforms are quite common in deserts because in deserts we know the action of wind is very dominant the mushroom rock is a type of landform that is formed when the lower section of the rock gets eroded more than the upper section and thus it forms these mushroom like structures secondly we have sand dunes sand dunes are low hill like structures that are formed due to deposition of sand brought by wind and thirdly we have loess loess are thick deposits of silt and sand over a vast region and these deposits of sand and silt are brought and deposited by wind so these are the different types of landforms that are formed due to action of wind so in today's lesson we discuss about different types of landforms that are formed by various natural forces like waves glaciers and wind the prominent landforms formed by waves are caves stack sea arches cliffs and beaches and then the landforms that are formed by glaciers are moraines and lakes and finally the landforms that are formed by wind are mushroom rocks sand dunes and loess so this brings us to the end of today's lesson don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon you can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the delta step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to our 5000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus master each topic with our adaptive practice technology get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock tests get all your doubt resolved instantly learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and ipads so at delta step learning is not just fun and easy but it's rewarding too so register for free now